recognized for his question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I thought that one minute rule on any subject applied to members doing town meetings. <laughs> Weak attempt at humor. Dr. Maxson, in your prepared testimony, you discussed Berkeley Labs' extensive work in fundamental biological sciences, as well as technology to create better biofuels, more resilient crops, and bio-based chemicals. And in all fairness, I have the privilege, in, in addition to serving on this great committee, of serving on the Ag Committee, and I'm a farmer by trade. So let's expand for a little bit. Could you provide more information on how researchers at Berkeley are improving these processes? Thank you for that question. I'll, I'll take a shot at that. Uh, from an agricultural perspective, I mentioned the, the microbiome science, that uh, the uncharted territories of the billions of organisms that are in every gram of soil. One could imagine that with uh, a deeper understanding of how these microbial communities uh, communicate with each other and influence the environments around them. It's not uh, too far-fetched to suppose that there would be opportunities to improve through the soil itself abilities to provide uh, fewer uh, inputs to the soil, that plants would be able, crops would be able to uh, get along with less water, less fertilizer, because the microorganisms themselves could be enhanced to deliver those nutrients like uh, nitrogen and phosphorus directly to the crops. Along that line, your testimony mentions the Joint Bioenergy Institute, uh, JBay, uh, uh, and looks at improving those bioproducts at the molecular level. Give us some examples of how JBay can accomplish this, but only in a national lab kind of an environment. Yeah, thank you. So you can imagine that one such bioproduct could be uh, an enhanced biofuel crop, one that's got more sugars to convert to fuels or chemicals that are desirable, and uh, as well as the chemicals themselves, one can imagine that uh, new types of plastics with uh, higher uh, desirable properties and thermo thermal behaviors, um, as well as, for example, enzymes. Laundry detergent enzymes are ones that we use every day. That particular uh, market, for example, is on the order of $6.2 billion. So being able to do end-to-end -end scientific discovery from, uh, from discovery to use inspired and then hand off to companies is something that the National Labs in JBay in particular is very good at. Taking this one step further, I'm also fascinated by the nexus between high-performance computing research at Berkeley and the progress in the biological sciences, particularly how Berkeley is using the supercomputers to analyze massive amounts, I think that's the appropriate phrase, massive amounts of biological data to learn more about everything from microbes to biofuel. What are the limitations to today's computing systems when you're trying to solve these complex biological challenges? We as biologists are, I would say, a bit behind uh, some of the other fields, such as physics in uh, big data uh, understanding and approaches. So I think one of the limitations is trying to port, if you will, our uh, bioinformatics approaches that we use today to analyze genomes and predict protein clusters and those important uh, aspects to a high performance setting. We don't have the right kinds of algorithms and biologists and computing scientists don't even speak the same language. So I think one is technologies themselves. I think the other is bringing the disciplines together to work more productively like physicists and, chem and computer scientists do. Expand for just a moment on the technology side of that equation, the physical part, where, we, where you need to be going. Yes, uh, so this is not my area of expertise, but when you, when you think about using uh, computers that have multiple cores, that means that algorithms run very differently than the computers that don't use multiple cores. And so the things that we are set up to do today, let's say analyzing a genome, uh, can take on the order of, I don't know, f 40 days. You, transporting that with new hardware and new software to a high performance platform, you can do the same type of analysis about an hour. Thank you, Doctor, and I would hope my dear old freshman agronomy professor from Oklahoma State, uh, Mr. Chairman, be proud that I focused on the important issues. Thank you. Heal back. Uh, thank you, Mr.